Pardon me, soldier. On behalf of Senator Dolly Burbark, I praise you for your service and ask a moment of your time. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. The Senator sounds like a wonderful man. Oh, he's the most wonderful man I've ever met. Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. Want to elaborate on that a bit? Absolutely. Senator Bark believes technology is the key to strengthening our military and re-establishing our healthy economy. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help? Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. Serving the Republic is what I do. I can see you're a man of action. Perfect for this job. I'm glad I found you. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. Lieutenant, Corporal Garam, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Let's get down to business. Here's the situation, sir. The Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. There's been an uneasy truce ever since. What's the op? General Garza informed me that your primary target within the guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. I'll stay alert. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traitors. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. Take out everything that clanks when it walks. No problem. Krell has his war droids patrolling the Migrant Merchants Guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. Do you have a fix on Krell's location? Negative, sir. We know he's inside, but that's about it. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Desperate, Mal. I wish I could help, Nick. I really do, but I can't spare the manpower. Is this what the Republic has been reduced to? Indifference to the suffering of aliens? The Republic serves its citizens, sir. And serves them well. They serve some better than others, especially if you only have two ears and two eyes. For us, there is no justice. We are ruled over by gangsters who call themselves the Migrant Merchants Guild. 
while Republic Security... Nick, none of you should be living here. We can't guarantee your safety. You know that. Our homes were buried under rubble during the war. Not our fault the businessmen here are all crooks. Anything I can do for you? I don't know. Things are not well at all, and I do so need someone. The Republic considers us squatters and wants us out. The Migrant Merchants Guild claims to protect us, but all they do is exploit us. Now the Guild has kidnapped my mate Rhea and put her to work as an entertainer. Rhea! Forced to dance for the pleasure of scoundrels! You should have mentioned that earlier. Is kidnapping common? The Guild does whatever it wishes. They are worse than huts. Given Republic Security's apathy, what is an honest merchant to do? For goodness sake, Nick, give it a rest. There's no telling what humiliations and depravities Rhea's been forced to endure. My beloved is worth a great deal to me. Bring her back and I'll reward you handsomely. All right, I'll do it. I always was a sucker for people in love. Thank the ancestors. I cannot express what this means to me. Rhea is being held with the other dancers in the guild headquarters. She's a beautiful Nautilin with lovely green headdresses. I'm sure you'll know her. Accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Barks Page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. Where can I find the shipment? Look, I don't work for him. If you want that information, we're gonna have to come to an understanding. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? Uh, now that you mention it... He didn't explain anything about the chips. I'm not surprised. These political types like to gloss over details. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for senators. Why would a senator need chips for slave collars? To be honest, I don't know. But it really doesn't change anything. The law is the law. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. That sounds like the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do. Find the chips and get out of the Guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Barricades, armed standoffs. It feels like we're back on Ord Mantel, not the capital of the Republic. Cut power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn, Senator Kale said you needed backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. Pull your men back, Captain. Let me handle the criminals. It's not that simple. They came here with a plan. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. No telling how many will die. Send a man to warn the Senators. They need to find shelter. I sent word right before you got here, but there isn't enough time to save everyone. We have to stop this here. The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. Get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there.
my efforts, I think. <laughs>
my fine ass. I think. <laughs>
Republic scum, do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. Have you been practicing that line? You're a brave fool, aren't you? But bravery cannot save you. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. I won't let that happen. This is no idle threat. The droids you destroyed were mere playthings compared to what I have now created. I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else until it's much too late. Whatever part of you is still alive, I'm gonna kill it. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. That's not gonna happen. You can do nothing to stop it. All you can do now is die. Destroy him! Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You have to eliminate Krell's creations. I can't know for sure if Krell was telling the truth, sir. Whether Krell was bluffing or not, these cyborgs are a risk we cannot allow. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. I'll take care of the situation. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors. Not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. We do what the General said. Talking about it just wastes more time. You're the boss. Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. I'm sorry, but I can't just let you go. But we're not cyborgs. I, I'd know if I was some half-machine freak. <laughs> this is insane. You out there, listen, I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's- Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. There's just no way to tell for sure, man. This is insane! Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's no other choice. Please, soldier, think this through. Cyborgs are not. We haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason to kill us. My orders are reason enough.
Come in, Lieutenant. Good work. This was an unfortunate necessity, but you handled it well. I don't feel good about it, but it had to be done. Come back to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. I'm here to see a friend of mine, Ria Delaru. Thank you for considering Hanera's dance troupe for your entertainment needs. How may I please you this day? Nick's worried about you. He asked me to get you out of here. Blast it. I should have known. I'm afraid you've wasted your time. I'm not here against my will. It's okay. You can talk to me. I'm sorry, I should have told Nick the truth. 
I was just hoping to spare his feelings. Life with him was miserable. Not only were we barely scraping by, but I was fed up. His jealousy was driving me crazy. He didn't want me talking to anyone or going out. Life here is... it's better. Your mate probably needs to hear this. I know. I, I should have realized he would never just let me go. Could you please tell Nick I was shipped off Coruscant? If he thinks I'm gone, he, he might move on. Stay here. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you. I appreciate your help. I hope you'll come back and see me under less... formal circumstances.
men can't believe you took on all those gangsters and lived. You're a blasted hero, you know that? With the network terminals locked down, the speeder traffic is secure. Now, all that's left is pushing out those gangsters for good. Some kind of encrypted message on the network. Looks like a recording. Let me see that. It's an old migrant merchant's guild code. I think I can decrypt it. Here we go. You accepted us, Mr. Senator Pale, and credits. It's time you pay this back. All we want are the housing projects you promised our people now. Your people will have to wait their turn like everyone else. I owe you nothing. If you continue pushing me, I'll destroy you all. Senator Kale and the Migrant Merchant Guild are at war. That's what this is all about? Your extortion attempt has failed. My people are pushing back a little army as we speak. It's over. Nobody breaks a deal with us, Senator. We'll have what we want one way or another. This is way above my pay grade. I'm not destroying the reputation of Coruscant's most popular politician. Take the recording. I don't want it. I'll talk to her. She'll have a good explanation. She has to. Senator Kale has done great things for Coruscant. She's a good woman. Give her a chance. My men and I will stay down here. You should go back to the Senate Tower. What the Wampa dragged in. I was beginning to wonder if I'd see you again. Did you get the shipment of slave collar chips? Take these chips and destroy them, Captain. Oh, I will. Senator Bark will be disappointed, but the law is the law, even for senators. I know he probably offered more, but I can at least give you the standard rate for your work. I'm just glad we found them before Senator Bark did. I'm with you on that. To be honest, I can't think of a more detestable technology. I've got a lot of data work to do now. We don't want the Senator finding any fault with the way this was handled, but you've got my thanks. <laughs>